You know, a couple of videos ago, I said I was burning out from doing van life. And you guys actually said that I'm going through a transition. And well, you're right. I'm definitely going through a transition. And well, I'm gonna tell you all about it right here. Well, we're moving to Texas, kind of. This is a little bit of a transitionary phase right now for me. I'm still gonna be doing van life, I'm still gonna be traveling, but I did get a place in Texas to move to for a little while. And well, I think it's gonna be an interesting journey. It's something that I've really needed. I need this respite. But right now we're leaving Arizona. We're headed to New Mexico tonight. It's gonna be hot, a scorcher. But this video is all about the transition to moving to Texas. Lily, it's your birthday today, girl. Happy birthday, honey. Lily is 15 years old today on this beautiful day in September. Yeah, she's all snuggled up, ready for her ride. She's my good girl. Really, this was all very sudden with me moving down to Texas where I'm going to be staying at. I've been looking for a place to stay for a really long time and just trying to find that place that's within my budget. But also unsure of what direction I wanted to go to because it felt very hard for me to think about possibly living outside of the van again. But then there's times where I really want more space and I love the idea of going back into a sticks and bricks lifestyle for a little bit. Really just having the best of both worlds is what's ideal. Because at the end of the day, I still want to travel. So I found this place just a couple of days ago and here I am on the road two days later after I planned everything out on my whole trip down to Texas, but it feels good. I'm very, very excited and I cannot wait to show this to you guys. We made it over here to Clovis, New Mexico, and uh, it's time to go to bed. You can see I'm under this big old street light. So it's been a long day, nine hours roughly of driving, I think. Something like that, it's supposed to be eight hours, but you know, it's always more than that. Okay, you gotta stop and get gas and eat lunch. So oh, thankfully the temperature has already dropped a little bit. So it's not so hot. Uh, well, I say a little bit, it's, it's 80. <laughs> 80 degrees, a lot better than 95. So I gotta feed this birthday girl and then she's gonna get a little birthday massage and then we're going to bed. Got another long day to drive tomorrow. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. It's uh, 5.43 in the morning. Still dark, but we got another eight hours of driving today. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video today. You know, I'm so thankful when I look back at the last five and a half years of my life where I have documented my travels through video and photography, and it's an intoxicating walk down memory lane, but I was looking for better ways to document my life in the moment so I'm not constantly feeling like I have to script out a video for my YouTube channel. So I found this class on Skillshare from Nathaniel Drew, Document Your Life, Four Methods to Live More Intentionally. I zoned in on three of his methods of vlogging, journaling, and also also doing audio recordings of your life in the moment. Filmmaking videography is not something that I studied in school, so learning from people who've been doing this for a while and maybe have better methods than I do is such a great way for me to learn more. That's when I turned to Skillshare to figure out how I can make my process even better. And Skillshare is a great place for you to go and learn that new skill or that new trade to enhance your career or as an entrepreneur to start your own business, especially with the thousands of classes that Skillshare has to offer. So make sure you
sure you click that link down in the description box for Skillshare. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video today, the first 1,000 people who use my link in the description box is going to get a one month free trial to Skillshare. And guess what guys, it's completely ads free with unlimited classes and it's super cheap after that one month. So make sure you click that link in the description box to get started. Welcome to Texas. <laughs> Well, you might be wondering why I'm taking all these pictures of a greenhouse in this little tiny town, but here's the thing. My family grew up in this place. Uh, my dad and my dad's side of the family. Very, very small town. There's only one traffic light in Farwell, Texas, and everything else is just a bunch of like little residential. There's a little courthouse over here, and this is my grandma's house that six children grew up in. Tiny little house. Spent every summer here when I was a kid. And I loved it. Small town. Maybe this is where I get my love of small towns. There used to be a big climbing tree in the front of that house and it's all gone now. Some really great memories here actually. Really great. And I miss my grandma. She was a shining light in my life. Another reason why I'm doing this, moving over to Texas into this house, is because I wanna see if the stationary life is for me. I'm still not sure yet. This will give me a good trial basis by having an Airbnb in one spot, and then who knows? I might move to another area and see if I like that. You know, part of the reason that I wanna do this stationary life for about a month is because, well, I've been in a van and an RV for five and a half years and I'm afraid I'm actually gonna maybe regret doing something permanent. And so this is what I teach in my Nomad Mentorship Bootcamp, uh, but in the reverse, is to maybe go try out a van, try out an RV, rent one, see how you like it on uh, an extended weekend trip or a week-long trip, and then make your decision if you wanna do this on a full-time basis or maybe what kind of an RV you want. This is in reverse, where I am actually looking at going back into stationary life and thinking, am I gonna have a freak out moment that I'm going back into a traditional lifestyle, even just part-time? Because honestly, I love my life on the road, but as you know, I've talked about the challenges of being in a van and moving all the time. And well, it's just something I guess I'm getting tired of. I want more of a routine. Which is why I think doing these Airbnbs will allow me to figure out where I actually wanna have that home base at, potentially, so I can try out a bunch of places around the United States and figure out maybe where I wanna buy some land and build a tiny home. There goes the AC, it's finally kicking on. It is so, so hot outside. It's like high 90s, feels like it's 100 plus degrees outside and a bit humid, so probably see a little bit of moisture under my eyes there. I like to stay in a spot, preferably on the first floor or lower floor so I can see my van. I like to make sure that everything's okay with it. I still have the Simply Safe in there that allows me to see cameras and stuff inside to make sure that nothing is happening to my van because I haven't even told you guys this. I stayed in a couple of hotel parking lots over the last month and for whatever reason I've heard twice, two times now, where people have tapped on my window. I'm guessing that somebody was probably trying to see if I was in there because they might either steal the bike off my bike rack or try to get inside the van and steal something. So thankfully I wake up and I move around in the van and I look out and nobody's there. You know, it makes me a little concerned. One of the other reasons why I'm excited about moving into this place here in Texas is because I can just do a lot of self care because I don't move on an everyday basis when I'm stationary. I don't have to think about going to a park and rolling out my yoga mat and who's gonna be looking at me. I get self-conscious about those things. So I'm excited about that. Goodness gracious, it is hot in Texas. Good thing this place that I'm gonna be staying at has AC. I don't have to worry about you know where I'm going to be at, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, none of that stuff. So another great thing about being in a stationary life. So I know I'm like giving you all of these things about why I'm gonna love it here, but you have to remember I've been on the road for five and a half years. Having this place just to stay still for a little while is going 
to be amazing. Plus, I have a big, big, big project that I'm working on for the business that, well, you guys are gonna really benefit from. There are a bunch of you who wanted to take this course that I was gonna put together about how to start a YouTube business, but I have something along those lines that is going to be even better. I'm not ready to talk about it yet, but I think you guys are gonna love it, especially for those of you who want to start a business online and travel, or maybe just stay at home and have an online business. We're gonna get to that at a later time, but staying at this Airbnb in Texas is going to be amazing so that I can settle in one place, put the project together, and start filming it. So that is the key. Another reason that I want to move to Texas and stay in this Airbnb for a little while is because I have family over here. That's a scorcher. I got to get some water in. I have family over here and I really want to see them and kind of spend some time with them this year. And it's always a little bit challenging when I'm in the van because Texas weather is a little bit volatile. If you didn't know that, it can be normal temperatures and then either or very hot or very cold. And so it's a little challenging sometimes to be in the van in the Texas area if you don't have an RV park to hook up to. So having a place to stay for a little while will allow them either to come to me or me to come to them. And it's kind of, you know, like a normal house situation and we don't have to worry about the weather. In one of my last videos, you saw that I was talking about how I was burned out. I was burned out on moving all of the time in my van, but this for me is the break that I need from the van. I think I just needed something different. I'm not dissing the whole van life or RVing lifestyle or traveling. I really, really love it. It's just, it's in my soul to do. So here's the thing. I am not stopping RVing. I'm not going to stop doing this. I really, really love it. I'm just adjusting how I actually live my life Again, I want the best of both worlds. So whether that be an Airbnb right now, whether that be some land and a tiny house in the future, I don't know what that looks like right now. I'm still trying this out. This for me is just an adjustment to figure out what my future holds and do that something that feels really good to me because at the end of the day, I don't have to stick with one thing. I don't have to stick with van life or RVing for the rest of my life. I don't have to stick with a sticks and bricks house all the time either. I can do both. Having my online job will allow me to go anywhere that I want. I even thought about going up to the Northeast where Mark and Grant is at in New York and spend maybe a winter there because I fell in love with New York, especially upstate New York. And while I know most van lifers, including me, have always said the West is the best because all of the BLM land and national forest land, there's still so much to see on the East Coast that I haven't seen. And I really, really wanna take part in that and really explore that area some more eventually. I have a task for you guys now, and I hope you will help me with this. That is to leave me a comment below and let me know, where do you guys think I should buy land and build a tiny home? There are so many areas in the United States that I could build. And to be honest, I have a little bit of analysis paralysis about it because I've been to so many places in the United States and I love so many of them. But each of them, of course, comes with the beauty and the positives of that area, but every place has its negative as well and a sacrifice that you're gonna have to make. Leave me a comment below and let me know where you think that is and tell me why you think that's a good area. Give me some of the positives and give me some of the cons because I assure you, I don't know everything and I don't know every place and you guys helping me out will really help me to possibly narrow this down in the future and I can start visiting those places and figuring out where is that place I'm gonna buy some land and build a tiny home. Home sweet home.